1996, curled up in a corner rocking, wanting to kill myself. And diagnosed, so I went off to psychologists, psychiatrists, diagnosed manic depressant at the time, which is the exact same as bipolar. And they wanted to medicate me because that's what they do. My mother had been medicated, my whole family had been medicated, my grandmother had had electric shock therapy. So me as a person knew that it wasn't an option for me. It's like that's not what I want to do because I could see it didn't friggin' work. They were all zoned out, they were all zonked off their head, they were all just going through life. Anyway, so I then went to therapy and I went to talk therapy, cognitive behavioural therapy. I went there for almost a year and I was at the point where I was about to quit because it's like this isn't working. I would feel a slight relief at the time, but nothing was changing. And I call it divine intervention. I don't know what it was, but I went this particular time and my counsellor wasn't there. They said, did I want to see someone else? And I did. So I went in and the person did a process with me and my biggest monkey was gone. So my biggest issue that for the whole year I hadn't barely talked about. Even though I was talk therapy, all I did was cry. So then from there, that was tapping. So that's when I was introduced to tapping. But to get from, and this is really the story I want to tell people, to get from manic depressant, curled up in a corner, rocking, wanting to kill yourself, to a fully empowered woman, empowering others, doesn't happen overnight. It's the persistence. It's the knowing that you are the answer. How many times from that point to this point have I wanted to give up? That I've said, you know what? Enough. I remember the last time I parked in front of a lake, and it was 10 years ago, possibly, and I'm like, I could swim out there and just not come back. I'm fucking over this. But it was me that stopped me from doing that. And in the last three years, I've started to realise that it was me that was always there for me. And I never thought I was, ever. But I was. I was the one that was looking for the help. I was the one that was searching for the answers. And tapping has been an amazing process through that, but it's not all of it. There is so many things I do to maintain my well-being. Now, I have a sister diagnosed bipolar. Go figure. Now, my sister chose medication. So I have a really, really personal experience of the choice I could have made and the difference between the two lives. And it's just amazing. It, it really is. But I have sessions on me. I will sit down with the art of change because I had some shit going on in there. I still got some shit going on in there. No. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so I will sit down with the pen and paper and I am committed to being the best person I can be to inspire my family that there's another way. My, I see it. I see my niece, who my great niece, she's 11. I can see bipolar tendencies. She's learning it from her mother, who learned it from her mother. So for me to be a role model to them means that I need to stay empowered and keep moving forward. And no, it's not a disease. I have no symptoms of it whatsoever. Do I have a bad day? Fuck yeah. But it's a bad day. That's all it is. But I just want to, you are the answer. No process is the answer. Fast drift is friggin' awesome, but it is not the answer. You are the answer. Every single one of you are the ones that will be there for you and will change your life. 
Other people will guide you and they will help you and they will assist you, but you're the answer. Yeah, the truth is, faster tea is a toothbrush that sits on your counter. It will not work unless you use it. And that is the truth. When you understand faster of tea, you understand it's what you're doing to yourself within yourself, then you can learn to make friends with yourself. Now, I've had individuals, you know, they say, well, bipolar disorder, that's not a disorder, it's a talent, it's a skill, it's a survival mechanism. It's not genetics. You can learn it from your family. You know, Virginia. Love